Welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. What do we got this week, Mark? M for methods. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to create some methods here. I've got a class called person. I've got a first name property, a last name property, and a birthday property. Sure. But I want some methods in here. I'd like particularly a method to be able to set values to these property pieces right here, first name, last name, and birthday. Mm -hmm. um, I would also like uh, a uh, something that calculated how many years old the person was. Sure. And finally, I want a method. I would like a method called greet that uh, allows the person to say, hi there, my name is, and, and specify their first name. And actually, just one more that's occurred to me, I think I also want a static method that can create a new empty person, for example. Okay. So I want to create some methods. Now, to do that with Code Rush, you just use the letter M. So M for method, and then hit the space bar, and it will create a new method for you, uh, like this. Now, there's an orange box around the selected area over method name. Uh, that means I can just type in my new method name and hit enter, and then the caret will jump to the next orange box or orange line, which you see right here, the, this marker. And so I'll just type in the name, I'll hit enter, and then we'll go in here and we'll enter the parameters. And once I go in here, something will change, and I'll show you when we get there. But let's start with the method name. So I'm going to say, call this uh, set values. Like that, hit enter, and now I'm inside. Notice down here, this piece showed up. This is the final target. So if I were to hit enter right now, it would put me inside the method, ready to write code. Sure. But I'm going to instead specify some parameters. So uh, just like we use M for method, we can use V for variables. And I need, my parameters are variables, so I need V here. So I'm going to say I want to pass in the first name and last name. Those are both strings. Yep. So I'll type in a VS, and I'll say that stands for variable that's a string. And I'll say first, and I'll hit uh, enter, or I can just hit the space bar, and then type in VS again, and type in last like that. Ah, that's clever. Notice it's adding. Let's see what's happened there. Yeah. It's adding the, sem the, the comma for me, which is a little bit of a hard key to hit sometimes. It's not right where the home letter keys are. It's off to the side a bit. So I can save myself some time if I, ju I just don't need to enter it. Now I come in here and I want a date of birth. It's, it's going to be a date time. So I'll just type in V for variable and D8 for date time. I'm going to explain these second keys that I'm hitting in a moment. Uh -huh. But so far you've seen S for string and now D8 for date time. There again, it added the comma for me, specified date time, and we'll just call this DOB like this. Yep. Hit enter one more time. Again, notice when I hit enter, I'm down here. I've got the um, over here. I've got that marker showing my showing me the final targets available. All I have to do is hit enter at this point, and I jump down inside the method. Now that I'm in the method, I'm just going to go to my clipboard history and paste in some code that nice. doesn't have anything to do with using M for methods, just because I want to get here quickly. But I I do want to change this uh, scope, and I'm going to want to make this scope sure. public. So I'm going to put the caret up here on the declaration, Use the, the hold down the Alt key, and hit the up and down arrow keys to cycle through the visibility. Uh -huh. Right? We can go from private, and if I want to go to public, instead of hitting Alt up, I could actually just start here and hit the Alt down, and it'll cycle back around through. So I can cycle visibility very, very quickly with that. And with that, I'm done with my method. I just hit the Okay, so Mark, we went through that very quickly. Let's see if we can just summarize a little bit of that. Essentially, we've created a method with just M space, so M for method, nice and simple, uh, space for, for yourself, but obviously some people have that hooked up to a tab. Um, it's immediately created the framework of the method for us. Okay, So we haven't had to type any parentheses, any braces, we haven't had the void. We're just getting to the meat of it, which is, what's the name of this method? Assuming that you, you hit enter and you accept whatever you've typed, you have the opportunity to type some variables in. And again, simplicity. VS for a variable of type string, which you know basically just types the word string for you, but it does it in the right sequence. If you're in Visual Basic, that would work exactly the same way, and therefore you don't have to remember the differences in syntax here. Also, when you repeat this exercise, it puts the commas in place. So again, you're just having to concentrate on the content, the actual purpose of right. what you're doing. I right? should specify that when you said it works the same way in VB, what Rory's saying is the same keystrokes give you equivalent VB code. Indeed. So in VB, it'll say like first dim as string or something like that, right, Rory? Yeah. What's it, what is it in VB? Was uh, well, that really it, right? Literally, it was to say uh, first as a string. There you go. First right. as string. In this particular case. Yeah. Now, I, nice wanted thing, to, I just wanted to, sh just to mention this. 
when we're talking about expanding these templates, right? I hit the letter M and I followed it with the space bar. You might have it set up differently to expand with the tab key. These options are available inside the uh, Code Rush feature wizard, which is available, or the setup wizard, I mean, which is available from the Code Rush menu. Sorry, Rory, was there something else you wanted to mention about this? No, that this? was it. That was absolutely fine. So basically, we've used Code Rush to, to skip a lot of the ceremony of making a method and concentrate on the purpose of the method. Yes. So now let's do something else. I want to create another method. I want to create a method uh, called years old, which calculates the amount of time this person has been alive. Uh -huh. So I could do the same thing again, where I just hit the M and then the space bar. There's no problem doing that. But eventually I have to come back and change this. Now, by the way, speaking of which, I normally don't do this, Rory. But if <laughs> I have code like this, Actually, are you laughing, Rory, because actually I normally do do this? Is that this what is what I'm... I do all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I divert course. I'm off rails from the intended demo. But I just wanted to point out that we have convert to function here. So if you're inside a void proc and you've got a return of some value, you can choose to convert to function, and it'll figure out the type and convert it. I particularly so... like that feature. I tend to make my methods without declaring a type in advance because I'm not always certain the precise nature of what it's going to be. I might know that there's a number coming back, but I don't know if it's a double, a decimal, or some other variant of float. And then when I get there and I say return whatever this is, I use convert to function and Code Rush figures it out for me. We are off rails. <laughs> so let's get back on course, Rory. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, here we go. Um, so we want a method that uh, returns the number of years, which actually will be an int. So to do that, I'm going to do something similar to what you saw before when I was using VS or VD8. I'm going to type in M followed by the letter I. And you can probably guess that this is going to be a method that returns an int. And if that's what you guessed, you're correct. Excellent. Just save me typing a few keystrokes there, right? Sure. So MI, MB will give you a method that returns a bool. Um, I'm going to, by the way, before we end, I'm going to show you more about those and where you can learn more about those, that secondary combo sequence of, of shortcuts. Sure. So now I'm going to create a method called years old, like that. Hit enter, no parameters, so I'll just hit enter again. I'm inside here. Let's go ahead and bring up the clipboard history. We'll paste in uh, we'll paste in that piece right there that I want, which is there. There's the calculation for it. Uh, we'll cycle this through the visibility through, make that public as well. Notice I just hit alt down and it immediately went from private all the way back up to the top, yep. which is uh, public. And so now we'll do one more method. This method's gonna return a string. So I'll type in M for method, S for string. We'll call this method greet, like this, hit enter, no parameters again, come inside here, I'll just paste out my uh, greeting code, which is on the clipboard, there it is, whoops, I just want to say greet, like that, and again, I can go through and cycle visibility, put it where I want it to be, that sort of thing. Um, the last thing we talked about is we talked about creating a static method. To create static methods, instead of using a lowercase m, we can use an uppercase m like that. And it gives us the word static in front of it. And so that just saves us a little bit of time. By the way, let's say we had forgotten that an easy to remember template is just ST and then the space bar and that'll give you static. Nice. So it's very fast and easy to switch over to static. Slightly off rails, but we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do that one more time so you can see it. Uppercase M, space bar, and then we're going to say, uh, and I said space bar because it's returning void, we don't need to make any changes. We're going to just say uh, create uh, empty like that, hit enter, enter, and then uh, I'm not sure if I have this on the clipboard or not. It uh, looks like I don't, so we'll just go ahead and type it in. R space is going to give me a return, and then we can say uh, new, and uh, we can say person like that. Sure. Okay, and we can do something like that. Come back over here, say convert to function. By the way, if I want to do that again, let's say I wanted to do that again. Let me just copy this to the clipboard. Let's say I was starting from scratch. If I want to create, if I if I knew in advance that I want the method to return the same type that I'm already in, I can just hit uppercase M and then a forward slash like that. Forward slash uses the type you're in as the return type. And then there's my create empty right there. And so I can just come in here and say return new uh, person like that. Very nice. So I can couple different ways that we can do that. So letter M for methods. Okay, Mark. So we've seen creation of methods, creations of variables, the specific of uh, returning types in both of those cases. We've got static methods. We've got methods returning types of the same type that we're in. So that's a huge amount of content for such a small area, but all of it very useful. Thank you very much, Mark, and we'll see you for the next feature of the week.
For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.